What's up Aries, this is Jesse with 44 Astro with a general tarot reading for the new moon coming up on January 11th, 2024, 111. That is activation. 111 is representative of the Trinity, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Um, really, I believe it's a quaternity because either that or the um, Holy Spirit is, you know, the feminine aspect, which is arguably true. Um, but the quaternity, I would add the feminine, uh, uh, the mother, I would say, you know, the father, the mother, the son, and the Holy Spirit. And Carl Jung actually believed that it was a quaternity, and I do too. Um, anyway, the moon's going to be on the 11th of January. It's going to be at 6.57 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, 20 degrees Capricorn, and in the 23rd mansion of the moon. Um, for Aries Ascendant, you're talking ninth or 10th house. Um, this is some interesting astrology, um, especially with the 23rd mansion of the moon. This is all about freedom. This is all about getting free. So if you're trying to get free from a situation, um, this is the t oh, right there. This is the time to do it, especially with the sun is going to be an exact conjunction. I mean, zero orb. It is going to be sitting on the sun. The moon is, and it's going to be touching in a trine harmoniously Uranus, which is change. But it's in Capricorn, so you're talking being very practical, make order from the chaos type thing, but change nevertheless because Uranus would bring in change. So this is a good time for freedom and change in aspects of your life. And looky here, luck is on your side. Very nice, very nice Aries. I'm going to do another quick reading. I'm quite busy. I wanted to do a, a new year uh, reading, but I just did not have the time. Um, I do want to make a video going over the specific astrology, um, the big ones for the year. Um, the big one, of course, is going to be um, Pluto in Aquarius. Last time Pluto was in Aquarius was in the 1700s. And what happened in the 1700s? The American Revolution. There is going to be a lot of power structures flipped on their head. There's going to be a lot of change. There's going to be revolution going on, which is actually really scary. But hopefully it's for the best, and hopefully we come out better for it, and generally that's what Pluto represents, you know, burning stuff to the ground so you can build something newer and better. That's why the sign of Scorpio is is kind of feared, or the, the planet, Scor planet, Plu planet Pluto is, is kind of feared because it's why he's represented by the reaper, the reaper reaping the fields, clearing the fields so that new, new, new growth. But how that field is cleared, it can be violent. You know, it just depends on the people in power, how willing they are to release power or to change. And let's hope it's whatever this transition is. It may not be in America. It could be different parts of the world. It could be with this Russia situation or anything like that. China, all that. But it also could be definitely the U.S. Because, you know, it, and if you look at where the world is heading right now, it's heading for a big conflict. So it's actually kind of scary. But... I mean, I'm not going to be all sunshine and rainbows with you. I'm going to give you the truth, what I see and how I feel about it. Um, because the truth is very important. Anyway, um, you know, this is your current situation or what you're asking about seems to be your home. Your home, your, your abundance, your family. You know, it, it's crossed by some kind of, uh, it could be a child. Um, you could be asking about a child or there's a child in your life. Maybe you're having trouble with your child. Or it's just um, you want to do what's best for your child. So you feel like um, you're asking, like, you know, how do I do what's best for my children? Or something like that. Or this could be like an idea. This could be like a, something you're really passionate about and you're hoping that it's going to be profitable. At least that seems to be the situation. Um, you know, crowning you in your conscious mind, you know, it's a celebration. I mean, we did really just do the celebrations, right, with all the, the New Year and Christmas, maybe maybe you're still celebrating. <laughs> or maybe you're going to some kind of celebration soon for whatever. Um, you know, for some of y'all, uh, you could be, like, going to someone's birthday party or somebody's wedding or anything like that. Some kind of celebration. Uh, it's on your mind. Something you're thinking about. Some kind of social, social gathering. You have luck on your side, so that's good, Aries. You know, behind you, it looks like you've been planning. Now, like I said, this mansion of the moon is all about freedom. And, you know, with the Capricorn influence, you know, you're, it, it, you're going to be making plans, practical plans, maybe about a change you're trying to make, something you're trying to free yourself from, whether it be like a relationship or a job or anything that you're trying to free yourself or just bringing uh, 
freedom from the chaos in your life. You know what I mean? Like you're bringing order to the chaos type of things. And we all have chaotic uh, situations and things that happens in our life. And maybe you're just getting more organized, that type of thing. Your unconscious influence is hard work. Whatever it is, you're trying to work very hard on it to bring it forth. And, you know, like I said, this is an idea, something that maybe you haven't actually brought forth. You know, and with the sun and the moon touching each other exactly like that. This is something from within you, like an idea that could be getting brought to the light. And you're hoping that it brings you this. Um, but you're going to have to make a final judgment on something. So some kind of decision in the near future you're going to have to make. And if it is about freedom or about change or it's about some kind of social gathering you're going to, you're going to need to make a... Uh, you're going to make, have to make a final decision about whatever this is, like whether you're going to it or whether you need to bring a gift or anything like that, or a final decision about you know what's going on in your life right now. If there's something you're trying to free yourself from, or maybe you're trying to uh, you're trying to work harder this new year. Maybe your res res uh, resolution is to like whatever this idea is to start, you know, bringing it forth and, and making profit with it, or you're just trying to have a happy home. You know, maybe you're worried about your kids, like I said, and. You're trying, this new year, you're like, look, I'm organizing my home. I'm getting, I'm getting, you know, a happy and, and better life. And I'm, you know, I'm making that final decision to move forward in it. And, you know, you know, this is your current situation. It looks like a happy home. So you may be reorganizing in some way. Like, it looks like, you know, two tens here. And then this is 10, 10, 20. So some kind of completion could be happening for some of you. Which is, it's a good thing, though. Whatever this is, whatever this completion is or whatever you're accomplishing, luck is on your side, so that's very good. Something big. I mean, maybe some of you are getting married. I mean, got the Hierophant here. Or you're joining, like, a big company. Like, uh, you're about to, or you may be about to start something big. Something like a, uh, whatever this idea or this, this creation that you have may be something big. You're trying to bring it forth. Maybe you're bringing it forth, like, on social media or something like that. And you want to get it discovered because this is what you in your environment. Like in your environment, you have, you know, you know, company. This could be, this could be like big organizations. I mean, it could be God, right? This could be spiritual influence. Like in your life, it could be churches, it could be anything like that. Like this is this is the higher fence, the the messenger in between us and the gods, right? At least that's what it represents. So it could be something like that. It could be some kind of. Um, uh, spiritual pursuit. Maybe that's the final decision you're making. You want to uh, spend more time in your spiritual practice. I know I'm trying to do that for sure because I've uh, neglected it a lot, and I'm getting trying to get back into it a lot more. A lot more meditating. A lot more spiritual spiritual practice. I'm not going to get into specifically my spiritual practices, but um, it's good. You know, the advice or you know helping or hindering you kind of situation. Heartbreak. So, like I said, you could be separating from someone or some. You know. This, I mean, it's a heartbreak card, but it's all positive. Like, like it's a good thing to do. Like, so if like you're you're in a relationship, I mean, it's like you're you're deciding on a new dynamic for your home life. That's what it feels like—a whole new dynamic, right? Happy home. It's also a happy home. Like you're you're it's like a new dynamic. You're making a final decision to change how things are at your home. Maybe more organized, you know. But it, I mean. I'd say watch out for your actual physical health, like your heart health. But this looks like it could be like a separation, but it's it's like in the advice helping or hindering you. And it's maybe it's helping, not hurting, because this is all positive cards around it. And the outcome is walking away. And it's interesting because this goes right on the theme with this mansion of the moon and what the astrology is, right? So it's some kind of change happening. Some like some major change that you're making. It could be in family, could you know, it could be work too because this is the unconscious influence. But behind you, it's like you've already been planning. It's like I've been waiting on this. Like, and it's it's like something's gonna happen, and you're gonna make that final decision. Like the fight, the, like the camel, or what? What is it? The um, the straw that broke the camel's back, that type of thing. It could be something like that. It could be like the last straw. But it doesn't look bad. It looks like it's what's best for you. It's like this is what you want, or it's like your current situation which seems like a happy home maybe you know maybe you're separating from someone and you're going to get with someone else like marry someone else i mean situations like that can occur it could be already a three-party situation going on this could be like a someone or maybe you meet someone at like a social gathering and you're like oh i really like this person 
you know, I mean, jumping into marriage that quickly, I mean, I, I mean, I've seen that happen and be successful, but I'd say, I'd say do your due diligence, but, and it could be somebody like the social gathering gets you an opportunity at like a big company too. You might meet someone and it's like they give you an opportunity for work and then you can use that to get enough money to, to move forward, maybe separate from someone or some situation, walk away from some situation that hasn't been the healthiest because it, you know, it looks like it's breaking your heart. Like something's been weighing on you. But the outcome is you walk away. So you're definitely walking away. That's what it looks like. But luck is on your side. So it's like some fortuitous circumstance comes forward and helps you. Either, either it's, it's either money or like a job opportunity, something like that. Or, some, or like your idea, this idea that you have does take off. And somehow you start like being really successful. And, you know, the moon touching the sun, exact orb, you know, go within. It might give you what you need. A little meditation might give you exactly uh, the, the in, insight and influence you need for this. Anyway, that's all I have, Aries. This is another short reading. Um, please consider liking, subscribing, and commenting. Um, it does help the algorithm, um, at least from what I can tell, especially the comments. Um, and I'll do my best to always respond if I can, and I pretty much will, because I, always, I don't have, like, a ton of comments, so I'll, I'll, I'll respond. It'll very, at the very least, I'll give it a like. Anyway, I wish you the best and happy new year and um, whatever this change is, I ho it seems like it's going to be harmonious and it's going to uh, be beneficial in the end. Bye-bye, Aries. Hope to see you here again.